Craziest Animal Phenomena Explained Hey everyone, it's Alexa and welcome back to another video. From swimming spiders and raining fish to exploding frogs and zombie insects, here are 12 of the craziest animal phenomena explained. But before we get into today's video, make sure that you're subscribed and ring the bell so that you never miss any of our upcoming videos. Suicide Birds the small village of Jatinga is located in northeastern India and is inhabited by 2,500 people. Since the early 20th century, a large gathering of birds arrives there each year, during September and October. During moonless or foggy nights, the animals will swoop down from the northern skies and proceed to fly directly into sources of light. That includes floodlights and the lights of homes. The flocks of birds are made up of more than 40 different species, and all of them appear to be taking part in a mass suicide. The belief about that behavior persisted for a long time, but now many experts say that high winds are to blame. When the winds aggravate the birds, they interpret the lights as a refuge. Ironically, when they fly toward the light, they're often killed by locals who sometimes regard them as demons. Puffed up. Some species of toads are known to inflate their bodies as a way of warning off predators, but they were never known to inflate themselves to the point of exploding. Yet that was the scenario in Hamburg, Germany and Denmark when over one thousand toads were found dead in local ponds. Locals claimed it looked like a scene from a horror movie. Local environmentalists ruled out the water carrying any contagion that affected the animals. The most accepted explanation came from a scientist who theorizes that crows were to blame. The birds would peck a hole in the toad's body, causing them to explode when they puff themselves up. While that may not completely solve the mystery, residents of Hamburg were advised to steer clear of the pond. Raining fish you may have heard the expression, it's raining cats and dogs, which means heavy rainfall. We couldn't find where any such case was reliably documented. But we did find a few stories where certain animals really did fall from the sky, so we'll feature a few in this episode. In the Indian city of Mumbai, there were reports of fish dropping from the sky in 2016 during the monsoon season. Locals claim they found fish flopping about in their backyards and on the roads. Such incidents had also been reported in years prior, and the stories check out, sort of. Scientists say the rare phenomenon occurs when whirlwinds or tornadoes form waterspouts and suck fish and other animals into the vortex. When the winds decelerate, the creatures can fall from the sky and seem to rain down over the land. The fish rain phenomenon has also been documented in Honduras, among other countries. Besides fish, the weird weather patterns can produce incidents of creatures like frogs, snakes, and alligators falling from the skies. Showers of Spiders this is another critter that has been documented to rain from above, but in this case, it's more of an optical illusion. Rural areas of southeast Brazil have reported showers of spiders during hot, humid weather. Locals say it looks like the skies are covered with black dots. The animals belong to a family of orb weaver spiders that build their webs high off the ground, and the strands are so fine that they're nearly invisible, which can give the illusion of the arachnids seeming to float in the air. To capture prey, they create huge web ceilings that can measure four meters wide and three meters thick. While it looks intimidating, scientists say that the spiders are harmless to humans, and their vast webs help to regulate the populations of mosquitoes and flies. North or South? Did you know that our bovine friends will all face the same direction when they eat? And while they'll all turn in the same direction simultaneously, the animals will only face North or South. This odd behavior was discovered as German scientists were studying satellite photos of cows using Google Earth. Many researchers say that cows will only face north or south because they're sensitive to the Earth's magnetic field. Other sources say that facing one direction while grazing helps the herd stay together and decreases the chance of head-to-head -head confrontations. Tell us what you think in the comments down below. Murmurations. This term typically refers to a flock of birds, usually starlings. In the evening, they're known to take part in a murmuration. That's a behavior which results in the starlings flocking together to create unusual shapes and patterns. Some observers have likened the patterns to watching a display of swirling black fluid in the skies. In some areas, the phenomena is called a black sun due to the large amounts of birds present. Hundreds of thousands of starlings are said to participate in the aerial show. Experts say the behavior is triggered by the presence of hawks or other predators. The starlings create those complex patterns in the sky as a way to confuse their aggressors and elude them. Aquatic arachnids They're not generally known for being aquatic animals, but certain spider species can swim like Olympic champs. 
Maybe that's to be expected since they have, you know, eight legs. Among those animals are a species of tarantula known as the giant baboon spider, which is a pretty scary name that matches a pretty scary appearance. They have a leg span of eight inches and possess parallel fangs that are used like pickaxes. Not only can they swim, but they're also known to dive in and actually capture fish. Experts say that these tarantulas use their front legs in a paddle-like fashion, allowing them to row on the surface. So maybe they don't swim as much as they paddle, but it's still a sight that freaks a lot of people out. Globsters. In 2003, the country of Chile made headlines when a humongous mass of tissue washed ashore one of its beaches. Measuring 39 feet across and weighing an estimated 28,000 pounds, biologists were initially unable to identify it. Guesses included the blob was the carcass of an unidentified species of octopus, but DNA analysis revealed it was the remains of a sperm whale. It's the better known example of a globster. These organic masses have been documented around the world since the 19th century. Sometimes they were thought to represent the remains of prehistoric plesiosaurs or sea monsters. But in the vast majority of cases, globsters have been identified as the remains of a whale or a shark. Large, dead ocean creatures will drift on the water and decay or be eaten by predators. When the leftovers are caught in strong tides, they wash ashore and incite a lot of speculation. Cloudy with a chance of meat. This meteorological phenomenon was recorded in Kentucky in 1876 when pieces of raw meat apparently fell from the sky. The largest pieces measured about four inches and resembled beef. Taste testers later claimed it was more likely deer or lamb. Others claimed it was bear or even a type of gelatinous bacteria. But laboratory analysis identified it as lung tissue that probably belonged to a horse. While that's usually regarded as the most plausible explanation, it's still a matter of debate. Likewise, you know, how it managed to fall from the sky in the first place. A widely cited theory involves vultures. Some researchers say the birds regurgitated the meat when they were mid-flight. Some species will display that behavior as a defense mechanism or to lighten their flight weight. A specimen of that mystery meat is kept preserved in a jar at Transylvania University. For your information, that's actually a private university located in Kentucky, not in Romania. Submariner spiders. We mentioned how the giant baboon spider can swim, but there's only one species of spider that is known to live most of its life underwater. In fact, you might say that diving bell spiders can even breathe underwater. That's due to the bell-shaped structure that inspires the animal's common name. First, the critters construct their dome-shaped web made of waterproof silk between plants below the surface. Oxygen bubbles are trapped on the fine hairs of its legs and belly. The bubbles are transported to the web and released inside the dome, filling it with air. It takes a few trips until the structure is inflated large enough for the spider to stay inside. The structure serves several purposes, but most impressive is how the bubble functions as a gill. The water's oxygen diffuses into the bubble while carbon dioxide diffuses out. That keeps the air in the bubble fresh and breathable. The Crawling Dead. This one sounds like something from a horror movie. A hyperparasitic microorganism invades the body of a host and then controls its mind. The parasite is a fungus that targets certain species of ants, carpenter ants in particular. A research study in Thailand rainforests focused on the relationship between host and parasite. The insects were infected when they came into contact with fungal spores. As it spread throughout its body, the fungus released a chemical cocktail that controlled the minds of the host insects. Then they became zombie-like automatons whose only purpose was to assist the fungus in replicating itself. After wandering aimlessly, they eventually fell to the jungle floor, which is an ideal spot for the fungus to reproduce. When the host dies, it releases fungal spores, which other ants pick up, and the cycle repeats. One, predicting earthquakes. We'll wrap things up with a phenomenon that's been documented since 373 BC. Many animals, including dogs, can somehow sense an impending earthquake, sometimes a week before it hits. The ancient Greeks noted that weasels, rats, snakes, and centipedes evacuated the area just days before a destructive quake hit. Experts say there's evidence suggesting that certain animals can sense changes in the Earth's magnetic field before an earthquake ever happens. 
Those animals could also be sensitive to changes in groundwater or electrical fields. 